Hey everyone, I'm Anne Marie from Hello Basque, and today we have another cooking video for you. It's time for pinchos. You guys have been asking me to make a pinchos video for a while, and today is the day because here's the thing. I was talking to my friend the other day and I was telling her about these Basque cooking videos I've been making and how I've been spending all this money on ingredients and I've been making these massive portions of food that like I can't eat by myself so I've been giving like most of the food I make for these videos away to my family and my friend was like why don't you just make something you want to eat because I've been making a lot of stews and it's not my usual go-to. If you've been watching my cooking videos, you know, uh, it's not really my thing. And I was like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I should make something I actually want to eat. And so today's recipe that I'm using is like exclusively all of my favorite things in one. So I'm real excited for this. I am referring back to Marty Buckley's book, Basque Country, because so many of you guys have recommended it. So many of you guys have said it's amazing that I invested in a copy finally. I made a Basque burnt cheesecake from this cookbook a few weeks ago. The link to that video is in the description below if you want to check it out after. And so I figured that was such a smashing success. The dessert was solid. So why not try some of the savory recipes in this book? So the pin show we are trying today is, let me read it for you, Spanish ham, goat's cheese, and sun-dried tomatoes all together. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Uh, first of all, this cookbook has some phenomenal photos in here. Um, also, I really appreciate in this book, the pincho section has like a whole like history, a little bit of background on what is a pincho, how pinchos became such a phenomenon in uh, Basque cuisine. And Basque culture and so that's really nice but really I chose this pincho because if you know me you know I'm not like the biggest fan of seafood and a lot of pinchos have some sort of seafood in it or I'm not I hate olives I'll just say it right now I hate olives and sometimes pinchos have olives or mushrooms or just things that I'm like on the fence about but I love goat's cheese I love sun-dried tomatoes and I love ham okay here's the thing so also I'm not like a great cook <laughs> if you follow the channel you already know um, so I really like the idea of this recipe because it seems really easy and straightforward you just take some ingredients put them together so I got my sun-dried tomatoes that was easy to find in the store I got some goat's cheese locally like you see do you see my hand like this is tiny um, because I figure I'm only one person and this thing cost me five dollars so <laughs> we're done with that and I don't know if it's just my area or what but I couldn't find any Spanish ham this recipe called for jamón ibérico specifically um, and I was looking for at least jamón serrano as like a substitute but I couldn't find any Spanish ham so I have to go with the Italian prosciutto it was like I know it's not the same it doesn't have like the same nutty quality but it was the closest I could find because there's a lot more Italian food in the area where I live than Spanish food so either way I think it's still gonna turn out delicious with my substitution last ingredient we're gonna put all these on a baguette. I got like the saddest looking baguette. Like it's it's really thin and skinny and the crust isn't even crunchy. I've been using Instacart. I don't know if you guys have been doing that, but I've been doing grocery deliveries. And so I can't actually see the products before they show up at my house. And so if I was in the store, I would have picked a better baguette option, but like it is what it is we're going with it so first things first I gotta preheat the broiler cuz what we're doing here is we're putting the goat's cheese on a pan and then we're sprinkling it with sugar and we're putting it in the broiler to try to kind of caramelize the top before we put all these other ingredients together so I'm really excited about this part in particular goat's cheese oh the recipe asked for goat's cheese with rind but I don't know if it's America or what but like I couldn't find a goat's cheese with any sort of rind so we make do with what we have right that's what it's all about these days <laughs> okay let's go okay so I'm not a hundred percent sure how I want to do this because I was supposed to buy a whole log of goat's cheese which would have cost me double the price and I didn't so I'm supposed to cut the log like lengthwise but I'm not doing that um, so I figure since these are all gonna go on individual little baguette slices I'll just eyeball what I think might be an individual serving 
Um, clearly the uh, presentation, it's not going to look as good as the photos. It's not going to have that uniform pincho look we're looking for, but hopefully as long as it does what it's supposed to and it tastes good, that's all I care about. So I can see why uh, a goat's cheese with a rind would be helpful because like this is a globby, globby mess right here. This one is just a puddle of goat's cheese. So we'll see how, we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> so we are putting this in the broiler and we are allowing the tops to brown watching closely. Okay, so I've been keeping a close eye on this cheese. I don't really know what it's supposed to look like. I don't think this is right, <laughs> but I'm wondering if maybe it's the type of cheese. See what's happening. It's like, it's supposed to brown on the top, right? But it's browning on the edges, which kind of scares me into thinking maybe I'm burning my cheese. Clearly it's melted. So I'm gonna take it out. So like with all of my cooking endeavors, this definitely probably doesn't look the way it's supposed to, but I don't care, cause it's gonna be good. I've already got my baguette slices ready to go, my little skewers for the pinchos. <laughs> this is not how it's supposed to be, but like this this is how it came off. It's just a glob of melted cheese, whatever. It's got sugar on it. I'm happy with that. got four little pinchos <laughs> oh I know this is not what it's supposed to be like but I don't care it looks so good now for my favorite part of these cooking videos the eating part <laughs> so these are my little pinchos for today um, I will say that prosciutto I learned today is a much flimsier much flimsier ham than Jamon Serrano. I don't know if it's because it's cut thinner or if it's just floppier, but definitely a lot of these pieces fell apart um, while I was making them, but like, I don't even care. Oh, before I start eating them, I need to show you. I feel like my pinchos and like every cooking thing and everything I cook is like Instagram versus reality. Let me remind you what these are supposed to look like. Wow, oh my God. Look at this beauty, that goat's cheese with the rind, so solid, solid, thick ham, seeded baguette. <laughs> and then what did I come up with? Mark. Can we get a side by side? <laughs> uh. Mom, did I do it right? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like the motto of my cooking video should be, well, as long as it tastes good. <laughs> I told you, prosciutto, the flimsier meat. Also, I mean, first of all, this is delicious. This Italian Basque fusion I just made, it tastes like a pizza. This is actually so freaking good. One day, I would like to do this, you know, right with the Hamoni Berico, but for today, this is amazing. <laughs> um, I never know with pinchos, like culturally, what's the right way to eat them? Are you supposed to leave the stick in like a club sandwich, you know, to help keep it hold together? Or is that just like for the initial and then once you have the pincho, you just take it out and just let it be a free for all? I never know. Mm. I eat my pinchos like a sandwich, like two hands. I know the whole point is supposed to be like a one handed bar snack, drink in one hand, pinch on the other, but. This is so good. I want to make sure. I want to make sure none of it falls. I need to eat every bite of this. 
my god and this is so simple it's so easy um well <laughs> the goat's cheese part was a little hit or miss but i'm like why why don't i ever think to do this like on a regular day like this is just a really tasty high protein high fat snack you gotta get those macros am i right do i know what macros are no i'm not i'm not quite sure i do but um this is like close enough to a taste of the Basque country as I can get. Which is kind of sad because this is, if you were, mm, I wish you could taste this with me because this is like a taste of Italy, honestly. <laughs> it's like the olive oil, saturated sun-dried tomato, the soft cheese. I got a really like mild goat's cheese, so it's just soft and smooth and the prosciutto. Mm. Is Basque Italian fusion a thing? I know Basques are kind of purists about their food, but I think that could be a, a really good thing. I mean, actually, now that I think about it, my last visit, I went to Donostia San Sebastian, like the capital of Pinchos, and um, I took a Pinchos food tour. And actually, one of the stops, one of the bars we went to, we actually had a mushroom risotto. So, now that I asked the question out loud, yeah, I think Basque Italian fusion is a thing. Because one of the people on the tour asked, like, oh, is risotto Basque? And I was like, just go with it, relax, enjoy it. I mean, it was delicious. But, um, yeah, I would highly recommend if you don't have Spanish ham in your area to do a little Basque Italian fusion because with prosciutto, I mean, prosciutto and sun-dried tomatoes is an excellent combination already, so you know it's going to be good. Mm. It's not really the most ladylike food to be eating on camera, because you see that sun-dried tomato, it's pretty solid. But, um... Look at me go. I was only gonna have one. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up because you don't you don't need to watch me sit here just stuffing my face. <sighs> I can do this in the comfort of my own home with the cameras off. But mm, ah, I don't wanna pick up the cookbook again because my hands are all greasy from the ham. But basically, Basque Country. The book by Marty Buckley. If you are curious, there's tons more Pinchos recipes in this in this cookbook as well. Like, this is just the one that spoke to me and my heart and my personal taste. But it's like all the anchovies and the gildas and all of the things are in here. So I've got a link in the description below to this book if you want to find your own copy and attempt to make your own Pinchos at home since a lot of us can't be traveling right now. And a lot of us are outside of the Basque Country. If you want just a taste of the Basque Country, I highly recommend this book. It hasn't failed me yet. To be fair, I've only done two recipes, but so far, I'm in love with it. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas of Basque foods you'd like me to make in future cooking videos, I'm welcoming your comments below. And please subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel if you want to see more videos all about the Basque Country, Basque culture, and Basque people. So. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.